<sighs> hey guys, Matt here and welcome to my fragrance obsession. Hope you're all doing very well this evening. Now before I go ahead and talk about this fragrance, uh, I just want to tell you guys about something that I've done recently. Now I've actually moved all of my fragrances out of my glass cabinet and I've actually moved them all into my, there we go, into my wardrobe. So I've actually got a lot more space than I did before. And uh, yeah, please let me know what you think of my new fragrance wardrobe, guys. Uh, I'll actually be doing like a, a video in the near future, um, basically on all the fragrances in my collection. So please do let me know if you'd want to see that video. So anyway, let's go ahead and talk about this fragrance. Now, the fragrance that I've got in review tonight is a scent that is pretty new. I've had it ever since Christmas. Um, this is a bowl of the original Amen, or simply known as Angel Men by Thierry Mugler. Now, the, the house of Thierry Mugler is absolutely fantastic. They're a designer house, which pretty much make niche quality fragrances, in my opinion. Now, if you guys have a favorite fragrance from the house of Thierry Mugler, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. Uh, this one actually happens to be my favorite. Uh, I've always loved this fragrance. I mean, there's a ton of flankers for this fragrance. Pure malt, pure wood. But this one is actually my favorite, guys. And every time I go into a department store, I always spray this one on a strip or on my skin because I just simply love the smell of it. And to me, this fragrance is a masterpiece. It is quite a strong fragrance. It is more on the pungent side. So if you do like strong fragrances, this is a really good one to go for. The year this one came out is in 1996 and the perfumer, if I can get the name right, that is, the perfumer for this scent is Jacques Houclier. I probably said that completely wrong, but uh, I'll post his name right here. But since this fragrance came out, this fragrance has pretty much revolutionized the fragrance world, if you like. Uh, I just, I think this fragrance is a masterpiece and I can see this fragrance being a favorite fragrance by a lot of people in many, many years to come. But yeah, great fragrance. So what we're gonna do is guys, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the bottle design. So let's go ahead and talk about the presentation. Now the presentation for this fragrance, a pretty decent bottle design in my opinion. The whole bottle itself is made of rubber. It's more like a, a rubber flask than a bottle, I would say. So it's really nice. We get a built-in atomizer here. I'll spray it in a second. This is a 30ml bottle, by the way. Um, because it's such a strong fragrance, uh, I think that this fragrance will actually last me for quite a long time. So I'm not going to go and overpower myself on this stuff because it is absolutely nuclear juice. Um, I think in terms of the bottle design itself though, I think what really makes it is the fact that it just has the star right in the middle here, which I think is just absolutely amazing. It is glass and you can see the juice like right in there. It's just, it's a beautiful bottle design. Basically all of the flankers for this fragrance all look the same as well. The only difference is they all have different colors. It's a brilliant bottle design. Uh, it really does the trick. We get some information on the bottom here. You know, we get Amen, Thierry Mugler, Eau de Toilette. 30 mil, one fluid ounce, and uh, yeah, pretty much all that stuff. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much the presentation. There's nothing really on the back, nor on the top, just the atomizer. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about this fragrance in more detail. Here we go. Now basically, as I said in the presentation, guys, this fragrance is an eau de toilette concentration. Really? This fragrance to me does not smell like an eau de toilette. This fragrance smells like a straight up eau de parfum. It just is so strong, as soon as you put it on your skin, it's gonna be there on your skin all day. But I will talk about the longevity and stuff towards the end of the review once I've talked about the smell, okay? So let's go ahead, guys. I'm gonna spray this on my, yeah, put it right here. Here's what the spray looks like. Pretty decent. I mean, it is a little bit difficult sometimes to spray because you've really got to press down. But uh, once it's on your skin, like right there, so strong. The sillage on this fragrance is incredible. As soon as you spray it, it just fills the room. It's, it's literally a powerhouse, seriously. Amazing stuff. Now, in terms of the notes for Amen by Thierry Mugler, in the top, we get bergamot, colonial, lavender, and peppermint. Now, this fragrance is a straight-up gourmand fragrance, okay? It has a lot of gourmand qualities to it, but as soon as you spray this fragrance, you get this very unique smell, okay? Those of you who haven't actually smelled this fragrance will definitely find it a very unique and sort of strange smell because even though it smells really good it will come across as a little bit bizarre I remember the first time I smelled this fragrance I actually didn't really like it I f thought it was just way too different you know but in a bad way back back in those days now I actually really do like this it's different in a good way um, it's definitely a scent which stands out I think compared to a lot of other fragrances out there but as soon as you smell this, 
you get this very, very mild bergamot. Tiny bit of lavender, but I don't really get peppermint. The peppermint note in this fragrance is kind of, you know, on the soft side. I don't really get a sharp peppermint. If it's meant to be like a smooth peppermint, perhaps, yeah, I can kind of see that. It's not really the cool, refreshing type of peppermint. This one is, like I said, definitely on the soft side, definitely hidden behind those other notes. And if you're wondering what holonial is, holonial is actually a type of aldehyde which is found in a lot of soaps. So this fragrance is supposed to create a sort of soap smell. Yeah, I can definitely say that again. This fragrance does have a very powdery edge to it. But I think what really makes the opening of this is that combination of just that lavender and that holonial. It's kind of like a, a soft aldehyde mixed with a sort of soapy powdery smell, if that makes sense, with a very light citrus, so that very light bergamot. Very nice, very, very nice. Um, again, very bizarre smell, but definitely something that I think you guys need to smell. If you haven't smelled this fragrance, you need to get your nose on it, because it is really good juice. In terms of the middle notes, guys, we get the notes of coffee bean, tar, and patchouli. Now, the interesting thing about this fragrance is the fact that it features the note of tar. Now, tar does actually have a smell. Like, have you guys ever walked down the street and, you know, like, notice that a road or something has been tarmacked, whether it's a path, sidewalk, as you guys say in the States? You know when it's been, you know when it's just had, a, like, a, a nice fresh coat of tar put down on it so it's all smooth and it has that sort of concrete smell? This is kind of like that. It's very dark, kind of creates a bit of an animalic, dirty smell to it. The coffee bean is also very strong in this fragrance. It actually reminds me a lot of the inside of a coffee shop. You know, when you go into a coffee shop and you get the smell of the lattes and the cappuccinos and whatnot. I definitely get that sort of vibe out of this fragrance, but yeah, very, very strong. At this point, it actually kind of reminds me of the smell of hippie juice because of that patchouli note. The patchouli note is very strong in this fragrance. So again, any fans of patchouli out there, this is a great one to go for, but I just, I love the middle of it because the, it's like that combination of that concrete um, cement tar sort of smell mixed with that coffee bean. That's pretty much what this fragrance smells like after it's been on your skin for about five minutes. It's amazing. It really is. It's just so different, you know? It de it's definitely a fragrance that stands out in my collection. Of course, I have smelled a lot of this fragrance's flankers. I have smelled a lot of them. I mean, my favorite is probably Pure Tonka, which I think came out last year. Yeah, it might have been last year. I remember smelling that one last year, and I just loved it. Really, really like it. So the flankers for this fragrance are really good, but to me, this one just stands out. This one, to me, is definitely the the most unique one out of all of them. Of course, you guys might disagree, but that is just my opinion, of course. And in terms of the base notes, guys, for Amen, we get Tonka Bean, Vanilla, Caramel, Chocolate, and Musk. So yes. This fragrance has a very sweet dry down, a very tasty, sort of delicious dry down. You know, I, I think just that mixture between the vanilla, caramel, and the chocolate, you know, it just, it get, that's what I'm saying. This fragrance is just a straight up gourmand, but it just gives it this very nice, tasty, delicious, sweet, sort of dessert dry down. I, I, I just definitely think that that mixture between the vanilla, the caramel, and the chocolate just gives it a lovely take. It's definitely not a sickly fragrance. I mean, it is sweet in the dry down, but it's not sickly. It doesn't put you off. To me, this is a very kind of formal fragrance, but I can definitely see a lot of people wearing this in a casual setting. But yeah, just know that it is a sweet fragrance, but it's not like a cloying, sickly fragrance. So definitely a good fragrance to wear if you, you know, if you want to experience the dry down. And I've gotten so many compliments on this fragrance as well, guys. Like I've wore this fragrance for nights out on the town. And people have come up to me and said, wow, you smell great. So this fragrance is definitely a thumbs up in terms of comp in terms of compliments. Um, what's really strange is half of those compliments actually came from guys. I mean, some of them were girls, but a lot of them came from guys. So it just shows you, you know, uh, this is a great fragrance. And I think it really does uh, do the trick to make you smell different and unique. So great fragrance, in my opinion. I would highly recommend you guys check this one out if you're looking for a very unique gourmand scent. Especially if you're a fan of coffee, if you like the smell of coffee and the smell of chocolate and stuff like that. But I, I just, I love this fragrance because it has the note of tar. And the note of, that, that tar note really does make this fragrance very different. Um, a great fragrance, in my opinion. It just has a very earthy, 
lovely smell to it. It's just, it's beautiful. It's really different. It's actually a very hard fragrance to describe because it is so different. But if you can get your nose on it, I would highly recommend it because it's an amazing fragrance. So guys, thank you so much for watching this review on Thierry Mugler's Amen, the original fragrance. That came out in 1996. I really do hope you've enjoyed this review. Please let me know what you think of this fragrance in the comments below and I will get back to you. Also, let me know if the, you, you know you have any downsides to this fragrance as well because I've seen a lot of reviews and not a lot of people actually do like this fragrance also. So it's kind of 50-50, but I happen to really like this fragrance. So please do let me know what you think of it, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts. So if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I know I don't really ask for this, but if you want to see any more future content from Fragrance Matt, myself, please do hit that subscribe button. Usually I don't like to ask people to hit it, but if you've enjoyed this video, please do. And of course, keep smelling good, and I'll see you all in the next video. Stay safe, guys. Bye-bye.